What's going on, everyone? Uh, real quick, uh, I wanted to jump uh, jump on. Uh, I didn't do it at 11 o'clock because we have our 2XL uh, tip, uh, which was number eight that we posted earlier today. But I wanted to make sure I stay consistent about um, just being able to be authentic and giving you the real deal of what's going on. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about the biggest challenges that I have going on right now, or, or should I say one of the biggest challenges. And one of those are um, making sure I'm staying uh, prioritized and making sure that I don't have easily or get easily distracted. Um, in this world of fitness, we have to constantly do some form of marketing, networking, and usually I'm very, very comfortable in my own space, i.e. the gym, opposed to going out in public, going to workshops, um, doing a whole small talk. I'm very uh, more individual where it comes to uh, I call, we meet up one on one. I get to know who you are, um, see how I can help. Uh, not even talking about how you can join the gym. Uh, that's pretty much uh, my challenge, what I deal with on a regular basis. And Melody Thorstrup, who has been working with me for at least a decade, has been doing a really great job with um, helping with me with that. Uh, the other challenge that I deal with is uh, getting my current clients just to be very, very patient. Um, watching how they make their results uh, and to meet their goals over time. Uh, we deal with, in a, we live in a time where everything has been instantly. We have uh, people that are instant millionaires now using YouTube, Instagram. We have people that, uh, you know, just, I guess not, I'm not gonna say microwave generation, but just expect things faster. Um, even though it doesn't dawn on them that it took time to get wherever they are, uh, it took time to get there. So, um, just really getting a lot of my clients to say, hey man, sit back, let's do this over time, let's, uh, let's track what we've been doing, what we've been eating, what we've been, uh, how we work out, uh, the water that we're intaking, let's calculate it over time, every two weeks, every other week, uh, every three weeks, once a month, and then look back over a three month period or a four month period, give it some time, and then you'll see those changes. But uh, doing something every single day, expecting to drop five pounds every single day is very, very hard, or expecting to, um, <laughs> um, easily start losing body fat percentage immediately is, is just not normal. So, and if it was, it just means that if you're, you're doing something very extreme and it's going to bite you in the rear end, if you don't stick to it and, or if you have a, a lapse or you stop doing it, and then it comes back a lot faster. So, um, those are one of the two big things that I have going on as far as challenges. And it'd be very cool if you guys can, you know, post on our YouTube or our content page or excuse me on our Facebook, uh, to Excel page. Now just let me know what things that you're dealing with right now. But like I said, I'm usually here to serve. I'm always here to help answer simple questions or and, and keep things simple for you as we uh, tackle any challenge that, they, that we have or that you have going on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this small, quick video. I'm gonna be sending this out a little bit later in the evening, uh, just so you guys can have time, you know, Friday before you go and get into activities or if you're just, you know, relaxing at the home. Take care.